Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. We're getting ready to unbox the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, you guys. Yeah, baby. Old Town, thank you so much for continuing the partnership. Let's do this. There's always multiple layers. You need dikes for the heavy zip ties. And you need a knife. Layer two. Layer three, done. Final layer, done. Ah, that was easy enough. Just pulled right up. I'm gonna get this assembled to the best of my knowledge, you guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description area. You can head over to Old Town, get all the exact specifications on this kayak. There's two settings for the seat. You've got a low seat setting, and you also have a higher seat setting. But behind the battery box, there's another strap that we wrap around the back of the seat. And the seat just act actually just slips into place. You give it a firm pop, and it just snaps into the brackets. Give that a pull. Pull this guy to tighten it up, lift that guy and push it back. This tank wheel area is huge. Let's see what we got in the box. Nice. Got a carrying handle right down here in this area. So this motor weighs 24 pounds. It's 45 pound thrust and it has, it's called an iPilot. This actually pairs with a remote control, it's got a spot lock feature. You can hit a button and it'll actually just automatically spot lock you on a GPS location. Let's see if we can get this baby in place. So on the front section of this motor, we've got uh, pivot and lock-in pins on the bottom and in the top on each side of the motor. Over here in this front bracket, we've got the loop areas that they fit into on the bottom. And then we've got a clamp that it snaps into here. I forgot to remove the plug. Obviously, this is for when you're not using the motor. Motor goes in, it seats in the bottom section, you push it forward, and it locks into the clamp. All right, let's go ahead and take this section off the rudder here. It should be pretty easy. Look at that. Easy enough. Just grab a hold of it and pull it off. We got our extra large XL fishing rudder. Get out the rest of our goodies. The battery has two straps. It has one that holds the battery in the case, and then it has another strap that secures the battery to the kayak. This is going to have our goodies in it here. Hey, hey, look at here. Manufacturer statement of origin. Ah, here's our iPilot remote. Where's our prop at? Whoop, there's the prop. It's on the side. It's black. It was blending in. Let's get the prop on. So we're going to need this nut for the prop. We're gonna need this washer for the prop. We need this kill switch. And there's also a shear pin for the prop. Put our prop on, we're gonna put our shear pin in place. Bottom of our prop has a groove where the shear pin fits. Slide that over the shaft. Get the groove over the pin. Washer goes on, nut goes on next. And then we can secure the prop nut using the kill switch. Okay, inside our complimentary tackle box from Old Town, this is where I keep my registration for the 106 Sportsman powered by Minn Kota. These little guys right here, these are for running the wires. If you install a fish fire or, or other wiring, um, you just remove the ones that are already here and replace them with this. These have uh, foam, in, there's a foam insert behind that to seal around the grooves on these around the wire. We got a couple screws here. This and this guy right here, there's gonna be for attaching our paddle right here. You got the two pieces, you got pins on the back side here. You got holes on this one. You just align those up. It snaps into place inside of the groove. I like to have my strap down. I feel it's easier to pull up and lock the paddle in. Paddle will pop in there, lift this up. 
snap it into place. Inside of this box also, there's some silicone dye electric compound. Yeah, that compound is for putting on the electrical connections so they don't get corroded. Oh, did I mention to you this thing is totally saltwater ready? With our iPilot remote, we have two options here. We have a lanyard that we can wear around our neck that this will snap into. And we also have another option provided, which is a carab carabiner clip that snaps and you can just snap it onto your belt loop or whatever. I don't know if I mentioned the, uh, the kill switch, the kill switch right here has an extra shear pin in it too. So with this battery box, when you put the battery in, you've got the positive and negative connections that are zip tied to the lid. And then you have the connection that actually plugs into the kayak over here. This hump section on the battery always faces forward. And then this cable comes through that section right there on the side. So right here next to the seat, we have our, our dry storage area, nice deep area. Plenty of room in there for my wallet, my keys, and my cell phone with room to spare. Also on the top of this compartment, you have these elastic straps. I don't think I'll be keeping my cell phone on there. It looks like it would hold it in there in place though, but that's the idea. Now we got this plug here that I took out for the motor. Back here behind the seat, we've got some little pins that the elastic wraps around just to hold that in place. So over here on this side, we have our lever, which deploys the rudder. We'll lift up on that. That's gonna put our rudder down, push it down. That's gonna lift our rudder up. These are rudder foot controls. We can adjust these by just lifting this little tab, slide them back and lock them into push position. Push left and right on those rudder pedals to steer the kayak if we're not using the iPilot remote. All right, starting in the front here, we got a handle. Oh yeah, we can grab a hold of that bad boy. We got a small storage compartment up here in the front. Just lift up this lever, twist it and lift, and that whole lid comes out. Looks like it's got a nice seal on there to keep the water out. This lid's got a little lip on it. The lip just fits underneath the other lip. Push that down, turn the lever, drop it down in place. That locks it in place. And of course, we've got our iPilot 45 pound thrust Minn Kota spot lock electric motor. Got our electric cord. This is our electric cord connection here. On both sides here and here, this is for running our wiring for a fish finder or whatever. We've got our gear tracks on both sides. We've got our rudder controls on both sides. We've got forward facing rod holders on both sides. We've got cup holders. We've also got these little compartments here that we can put tackle in and tools and pliers um, and whatever. We've got another bigger compartment on that side. So we've got handles on both sides. I already mentioned this compartment that's airtight. Got our paddle holder here. We've got our seat. These seats, you guys, are super comfortable. I fish out there eight and 10 hours, getting up and down, but most of the time I'm sitting in the seat. They are really, really comfortable. I don't have back problems, but yeah, love those seats. They provide plenty of support. And then as we come back here, we've got our, our plug for the electric motor that's put in place. We've got our huge tank well back here. We've got two gear tracks, one on each side. We got our big extra large rudder. On the rudder, guys, this is actually a handle right here on the rudder. You can lift the entire kayak up with. But we got EVA um, no slip super grip foam down here. And you guys, we have a ton of area in the front here. Loads and loads of area. Now over here on this, this side, you guys can see we've got a good wide space here to put track tackle trays in there or whatever else we need to drop in that area right there. Rudder control, up and down rudder control here. Both sides, we got rod holders here and here. We got our bungee straps bag here. We got a huge tank well. And we have a built-in mounting area for a shallow water anchor pole. Let's take a look at the bottom of this kayak real quick. Up here in the front, you've got your universal transducer mount. You've got a uh, protective skid plate right here. This scupper hole is where you would run the wire for your fish finder, the transducer wire. Um, the bottom of this kayak it has what's called a W hull. It's the same one that's the, on the 106 Sportsman powered by Minn Kota that makes it so super stable. We've got our uh, keel guard here. And then underneath the kayak on both sides, this is, these are where your handles are at here and here. 
six, eight, nine, ten scupper holes. Behind the battery compartment, we have a, an access. You need to access under here and run any wires or do any work inside of there, you've got an access. Well, guys, I am thankful for the continuing partnership with the Old Town and Johnson Outdoors. I can't wait to get out there and try out this Sportsman Autopilot 120. I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos coming up. I will make a full on the water review out there fishing. I just gotta get out there and get used to the kayak. I'll tell you guys some pros and the cons after I do that. But stay tuned guys, we got a lot of content coming in this kayak. We are moving into fall and the fishing is gonna be off the chain so thumbs up or appreciated make sure you check out the link in the description area down below head over to old town check out the canoes and the kayaks and all the accessories that they have over there so everybody get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya <laughs>